Welcome to Scratch Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch. With Scratch, you can create your own stories, puzzles, and games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything in the programs that you write. Create a free account at scratch.mit.edu so you can do coding with us. Once you get to scratch.mit.edu, you could jump right in, click on Create, and start writing code. But I recommend that you go to Join Scratch by just making up a username and password so that you can save your project. If you don't want to be online, you can download Scratch and install it on your computer. Look down at the bottom where it says Download. Today, we're going to create something like this. Here in the middle is the code that makes my character move. Up here is the stage where you can see what's going to happen when you run the code. Below the stage are all the characters that are in your program. I only have one character, the lady that's dancing. To the right of the characters are the stages. For this program, there's only one stage. On the left side are all the blocks that you use to write your code. The blocks that you want to use, you'll drag out into the coding area and connect them together. Different types of blocks have different colors. The code for this program says, when the green flag is clicked, that's up here, then I want you to loop forever. Just keep looping. And within that loop, go to the next costume and wait for one half of a second. And that's the costume for our character. This is the code for the one character that we have. When we click the green flag, it plays music and goes to the next costume. So let's start a new project and I'll show you how I did it. Once you've created your account, then click on Create to create a new project. The default character is this Scratch Cat. I'll click on the trash can right here to delete him and I want a new background for my stage. So I'll go here to choose a backdrop, scroll down and pick the spotlight stage. And you see up here in my preview, I can see that the stage is selected. This area here, my characters are called sprites. Scratch calls characters sprites. So it says the sprite name, different information about the sprites. But right here, I'll choose a sprite. When you point at a sprite, you can see all the different costumes that they have. It cycles through the different ones. Cassie is the one that I had before that was dancing. So I can see if any of these other ones are dancing. So I'll pick Champ this time. And you'll see Champ is on my preview. Well, he's too big for my stage, so I'm going to have to use code to make him smaller. How big he is is how he looks. And so that's going to be in my looks blocks. So I'll click on looks to jump to the purple blocks. Right now his size is 100%. Let me see what 60% looks like. And I'll click on it to run this code. And that's much better. Don't be overwhelmed by all the different kinds of blocks that we have to write code with. You don't have to know it all in the beginning. And you'll learn what all of these do. So we want champ to start dancing when we hit the green flag. That's an event when the green flag is clicked. There's different ways to make your sprite move, but today we're going to just change their costume. Let's look at Champ's costumes. These are all the different costumes that he has. And we're just going to make him change from one costume to the other, and that's going to be his dance. I'll go back to the code. So when the green flag is clicked, I want him to change costumes. That's going to be how he looks. We'll go to the next costume. So when the green flag is clicked, he goes to the next costume. But we don't want to keep clicking on that to make it work. We want it to loop. Looping is in the controls blocks. So we want him to keep dancing forever. 
So we'll pick the forever loop. So when the green flag is clicked, we're going to keep looping forever and go to the next costume, then the next costume. But it's way too fast. So we want to pause after he goes to the next costume. We want it to pause. We can do that with this wait block. He's going to wait one second. Now it goes to the next costume, waits a second, goes to the next costume, waits a second. But one second is too slow. Let's do a half a second, which is 0.5. And that's a pretty good speed. Now we just need some music. We want the music to start when the green flag is clicked. That's an event. The music is in the sounds blocks. We're going to play the dance celebrate song. When the green flag is clicked, it's going to play the song dance celebrate. But then it's going to stop. So we want to make that loop forever so that it'll keep playing the song as long as Champ wants to dance. Let's see how that works. Hey. The loop is working. We'll find out how to get different songs in a later episode. Let's see how it looks full screen. Hey. That's the end of this lesson. Now it's your turn. Create a Scratch account and create a new project Add a background and a character and make your character dance. Be sure when you select a character that it has multiple costumes so that you can just choose next costume to make your character dance. Remember you can just point at the character to see all the different movements that they have in their costumes. If you can select a background and make a character dance, then congratulations, you've mastered this lesson. This free coding lesson was provided by STEM in Games. Watch more lessons and keep practicing so you can create new worlds and games and make your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.